I've been working on a project pan since the beginning of April just because I've been trying to get rid of a lot of the products in my house that have parabens and petroleum. I've been learning about some of these side effects or some of the research behind what those chemicals do. And these are all products that I started using already and I've had lying around the house. I see some empties videos where girls are like, I've had this product forever, like two years. Yeah, I have a couple that are 10 years old. Uh, I don't recommend people using their 10 year old products, but I actually, I told myself I would try to use it up and if I had any problems with it, I would discontinue you know, using it, but I haven't had any problems so far. So I'm gonna do my um, Project Pan products first and then I'm gonna do the other stuff that I've used up. I used up a Chlorine Mango Butter Conditioner. It says it's nourishing and detangling for dry hair. This, in terms of consistency, was really watery and runny and I felt in the beginning that I had to use a lot to coat my hair and to condition it. But I found towards the end that it was... I actually started liking it a lot. Um, it was really good at detangling like it says. It wasn't a great conditioner in that it didn't really deep condition my hair even though it's made for dry hair. I think maybe if you have thinner hair that's dry or just less hair that's dry, then maybe this will work for you. It smells like sort of like mango skin, like when you cut it. The scent sort of kept in my hair for a while after I washed my hair. In terms of ingredients, this has methyl paraben in it and silicone, so I mean some people don't like that. Um, would I repurchase this? Probably not. It's pricey, obviously, for this little. It's only 5.06 ounces and it's like I think like $14 here in the US so and it didn't do anything great for my hair but I did like it for detangling. I used up two Bath & Body Works body lotions. This white citrus scent I got in maybe like 2010. It's the old old packaging like I don't know and this one I actually got last year only. Um, I bought it online. It's part of it's like online exclusive except for during semi-annual sales. The formula for these two was really different. Um, the white citrus was very runny and liquidy whereas the cotton blossom one was um, like thick. We moisturize my skin better, um, it's thicker and you know all those things it absorbs better. This one I just like too much of it comes out because it's so runny and it's just I hate this cut. I hate this bottle. This one has a flat top, so when you're down in the last bits, you know, this one has a rounded top, and you just can't, you have to lean it against something. And I won't be repurchasing these because they both have parabens in them methyl paraben, propyl paraben, and petroleum. This one, um, this one as well. I think the, um, the body butters there don't have parabens in them. Um, I'm not sure about the triple moisture cream that comes in the stand-up too. This is so old. It's from like, it's from 2005. It's a smoothing cream. Not that it matters because I don't think they even sell this anymore, but um, I used it as a leave-in conditioner, especially when I was backpacking. I didn't have to carry so many products with me when I was backpacking. I could just like shampoo my hair and then put this in and comb through and it made my hair so soft and um, it conditioned it and it smells really nice as all urban herbal essences products do yeah I still really like this um, I have one more tube of this so I will be using that up before year years end. The next one I used up was a Kanibo naive face wash um, I can't read Japanese it's kind of a light floral scent a little soapy. I think this is a foaming face wash. You rub it between your fingers with water, it does kind of foam up. Other than the scent, I didn't like this. My skin's a lot drier now, so this just is too drying for my skin, and I don't think it really does anything other than clean makeup off. Like, I don't think it has any, like, acne or any kind of effect, so I'm not gonna be buying that again. I used up this Body Shop Born Lippy Unbridled Passion Berry Lip Balm. I'm pretty sure they don't make this flavor anymore. This I bought in April 2003. It's all used up now. And over the 10 years, um, I just stopped using it because I didn't think it was that great. 
but I picked it up, you know, again for this, and I really started to like it. It really, really moisturized my lips for like a longer period of time than maybe chapstick. Okay, it's got beeswax, castor oil, lanolin. When they shear the wool and they clean up the wool, like lanolin is the wax sort of residue that comes with the wool, which sounds kind of disgusting, but apparently it's really good at moisturizing. I think it might have like an aftertaste. I have another lip balm that I'm working on for Project Pan which also has lanolin in it and it is also 10 years old and that taste, they both have this kind of funny aftertaste. I don't know if it's because of the lanolin or the fact that they're both 10 years old. If you have or have had the Body Shop Born Lippy lip balm, let me know if it had like a funny aftertaste. A Lush Fair Trade Foot Lotion. Pink. It's like a bubblegum pink. There you go. And, oh, let me do this. Let me put it on my hands. And I, this is what I don't like about it. Okay, I'm going to do that, and then we'll come back to it. I think this is overrated. I generally think Lush is overrated. I've given it, like, four or five chances. I only liked, or really liked, one product, which was the Volcano Foot Mask. It just has a really greasy... Um... Formula. The only way I found, like I found that this helped my feet any more than any other lotion did was if I wrapped my feet up in like plastic bags for about 30 minutes to an hour um, like after I applied it. It also stained my feet. Like I put a little bit extra on my extra dry spots and it just turned them kind of red. It smells like a mix of peppermint and spearmint, just like toothpaste. It claims like all these things that'll relieve aching feet and soften hard skin. It did neither of those things. One of the problems I have with um, Lush is that it really markets itself as like this really like natural brand with like really good ingredients in it. It does, but it also uses like all these chemical preservatives like parabens. Um, it has methyl and propyl paraben in this. This was expensive, like 21 here in the US, so I definitely won't be repurchasing this. I'll come back to this at the end of the video to show you that this shine does not go away. And it's like sticky. Dove Damage Therapy Revival in oh, conditioner in pomegranate and lemon verbena. It shows you like a scale of what kind of hair should hair type should be using it. And I tend to have, like, almost very dry hair. I definitely have frizzy dry hair. So I should have at least chosen one that, like, used this middle one. This is the family size. 25.4 ounces. It took me, like, over a year to finish it. I don't think they make this conditioner anymore, but I think they have this scent in deodorants and soaps and stuff. It just dried out my hair. Or it didn't dry out my hair, but it didn't condition my hair didn't revive my hair, that's for sure. I also don't like the, um, it's, it's slanted. This was like five bucks at Target, so. I like, I do like the Dove Intensive Therapy one. Yeah, the blue and white one I like a lot. And the scent of that one is really nice. This just smells like fruity but floral at the same time. The white one just smells like perfumey conditioner. The last product is the O Bigelow Lip Gloss from Bath & Body Works. It's in the Cinnamon Mantha Lip Shine one. It's minty. I like that tingly feeling and I like that the scent. It's a gloss and it moisturizes. This particular scent in cinnamon um, has peppermint oil, cinnamon oil, petroleum. And I actually read that petroleum, especially in lotions and lip balms, is the factor that, you know, the thing that makes your lips or your hands or whatever become addicted to it because it seems like it's nice when it's on, but then once it's not on, it, like, your lips are dying. The surprising thing, even with petroleum being, like, the second most product on the ingredients list, is that I actually feel that this is more moisturizing than my lanolin lip balm. I can put this on, like, twice a day and I don't feel that I need lip balm in between. I think it's like $7.50 each, but Bath & Body Works always has like a buy to get one free sale. It doesn't have any color, it's a clear gloss this one, but they do make ones in color. Um, they also have peppermint, spearmint, 
vanilla. That's all my Project Pan products. Oh wait, no, it's not. I have one more. Beach Cabana um, candle was on my list. It's from last summer, but I got it during the December semi-annual sale at Bath and Body Works for like ten bucks. I think these like silly descriptions that they have, like this one says. Relax in the cool shade with sweet jasmine, orange blossom, and a hint of musk. I think that's like a joke. They changed the description this year to include fluffy towels because that's exactly what this smells like to me. If I were doing laundry, it's like what I smell. It has like a slight floral scent to it, sort of like cotton blossom. And it burned well. So, it did turn gray though, which is not so nice. The next things I have are were not on my list. The Beach Cabana one was one of those 14.5 ounce ones. They retail for like $20 and um, I got it for $10. A Honeysuckle 4 ounce. This one burned really terribly. The upside of this is that because it burned so terribly, it burned for like over 30 hours. Like it says on the bottom that it's supposed to burn for 20 to 30 hours and the big one itself is only supposed to burn 30 to 34 and I actually counted how many hours. This one burned for 42 hours. This one, which is half the price of this one, burned for like 32 hours. So if you do the math, this is actually cheaper. This reminds me of the Michael Kors perfume. I actually was impressed at how low this particular candle burned because there's like almost no leftover wax compared to this was like the worst one of all yeah that's pretty impressive I burned a spring candle this just smells really green and rainy flower garden this one also burned okay it's a nice green color Tiki Beach I really like this scent I don't usually like uh, vanilla and not I don't like strong scented candles in general but this one um, just it's very light it's kind of like happy and warm cozy smelling this one didn't burn as well towards the end it burned like a charm like in the beginning but it kind of like the wick just drooped over and then it left all this extra wax island margarita i love this scent i think this was my favorite of all four this one burned well it just smells so good like fruity but not not like bright fruity it's like a deep kind of fruity and it says it has mandarin, sweet mango, and plum with a freshly salted rim. No mention of lime, which is fun. I got all of these for like three fifty or something, which is a good deal because they burned about 25 to 30 some hours each. Last but not least, I got um, a couple of Kiehl's um, samples. I, I like this, especially in the winter time when my skin is extra dry. Kiehl's comes also comes across as like an apothecary kind of place, right? Like their ingredients are really like basic. All of their lotions that I got have parabens in them, so I won't be repurchasing. But I have to say, this is really, really excellent. I also got it in the SPF one, which I didn't like as much. It was a little too thick for like daytime use, and I think it broke me out a little bit. So those are all of my Project Pan and Empties products for the last, that I've used up in the last three months. Check out like full reviews of some of the products that are still on the market down below. I'll put up the links to my blog and then I, also, I will also link the blog to my original Project Pan post so you can see um, everything that I'm working on currently. Oh, oh, I need to show you. My hands are still really glossy and it's actually it's absorbed now but it's still really like heavy feeling in my hands yeah you can see it's like shiny Ooh, wrong hand. you can see it's shiny so thank you for watching um let me know if you have any questions or comments about any of these products um i'm curious about this product and whether you find that it's kind of like got a strange aftertaste just let me know if you have anything to say about any of it and if you have any suggestions for videos um thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon